Detroit has seen a lot of crazy things and dangerous people, and we can add Clifford Thomas and Jasmine Gordon to that list, and they definitely got what they deserved. It all started with three-year-old Jamila, who instead of playing with her mom Jasmine and boyfriend Clifford like a normal child, she had to be rushed to the hospital for abrasions, bleeding, pneumonia, and even a torn pancreas. Those injuries were all synonymous with child abuse. Unfortunately, little Jamila could not make it. Jasmine and Thomas were both held in court for the injuries Jamila had suffered. I want to paint the picture of the nightmare that this child lived while she was in the care of these two defendants. Jasmine got 14 to 25 years for child abuse and 6 to 15 years for involuntary manslaughter, and Thomas got 5 to 15 years for involuntary manslaughter. This wasn't it though, as the world had even more punishment to dish out for them. The court witnessed some vengeful action when Jamila's biological father, Dwayne Smith, socked Clifford Thomas right in the head for what he did to his baby girl. But child murder is even worse when it's your own, such as our next killer, Gwyn Bowes, who takes the meaning of family feud to a whole new level. In Pakota, Indiana, an 11-week-old baby lost its life to his own father, Quinn Bowes. Bowes was arrested for the murder of his own son, Parker. Parker died of head trauma. His father, Quinn, claimed that the baby had fallen out of his crib and hit his head. But the truth was horrifyingly different. Officials ruled out the falling excuse and announced that the real cause of death was blunt force trauma to the head that's consistent with homicide. What kind of father would do that to his own three-month-old baby boy? One that deserves to stand in that courtroom. Quinn received 20 years in prison for his crime and an extra five years of probation after reaching a plea agreement to a level two felony charge instead of level four. However, this was not it for Quinn. In a surprising turn of events, as Quinn was being escorted out of the courtroom, he was attacked by none other than Baby Parker's uncle. The attacker, Jeremiah Hartley, clocked Quinn right in the face and injured him. But once again, the law would not stand for Old Western justice and sentenced Hartley to 100 years of probation after being charged with battery. On the topic of families, they can be one hell of a revenge squad for cases such as Jerome Boggs. Jerome Boggs. Where courts can become as wild as a wrestling ring. Small towns like Whitesburg, Kentucky can be full of warmth and hospitality but sometimes a bad seed could ruin the entire atmosphere. It started when Jerome Boggs was going to the house of Timothy Cook to buy some drugs. However, by the end of the deal, Boggs left Cook and his four-year-old son TJ dead with shots to the chest and head. Obviously, Boggs went to court for his crimes of murder, with his wife also being charged as an accomplice after they both checked into a Super 8 motel after the murder. In court, the judge told Boggs, I'm going to tell you, Jerome Boggs, you disgust me. If anyone ever deserved the death penalty, you did. You are not fit for the company of decent people. Jerome was charged with murder, robbery, burglary, and drug trafficking, and was sentenced to two consecutive life terms and 70 years for his crimes, while his wife got 10 years and was released on good behavior. Apparently, though, Jerome messed with the wrong family when he got attacked in court by not one, not two, but three of Cook's family members. Our next killer, Deshaun Brown, doesn't have the blood of one victim on his hands, but two. As we have another skin-crawling murder of a child case took place in Hamilton County, Cincinnati at the hands of Deshaun Brown, let's set the scene. A security guard stumbled upon a body bag and immediately called 911. 911, what's your emergency, please? The body was identified as Nitisha Lattimore, and her three-year-old son, Nilo, was also murdered, but his body wasn't found. The killer? Nitisha's boyfriend, Deshaun Brown. 
Apparently, Deshaun stabbed Nitisha, and he wheeled Nilo into a river, and the stroller was found after Nitisha's body. He chose to kill Nilo in an incredibly barbaric method. Not only is Deshaun a murderer, but a devilish planner, as he had the body driven in an Uber and said the bag was full of clothes. Sean Brown is a monster. In the midst of all this chaos, a hero came up called Antoine Hughes. When Brown was standing trial, Antoine, the real father of Nilo, attacked Brown in court and punched him vigorously. Regardless of the attack, Brown couldn't escape the wrath of the court, as he is now awaiting trial, as he is facing the death penalty. Murder is humanity's greatest sin, but there are some crimes that can be just as heinous, such as sexual assault by our last offender. Michigan's Larry Nassar, an athletics trainer and U.S. gymnastics team doctor turned violent sex offender. Nassar would start getting several complaints regarding his behavior. For this doctor, the complaints weren't bad handwriting or wait time, but something far, far worse, sexually abusing his athletes. Nassar was accused of several instances of sexual assault by women and athletes such as Rachel Denhalender, and the accusations kept coming and coming until they reached a whopping 265 victims. Sexual abuse is truly stomach-turning, as in 2016. Nassar was indicted on multiple state charges of sexual assault of a child. Three of his victims, Morgan Margraves, Madison Margraves, and Lauren Margraves, came forward with their allegations against their former team doctor. Nassar allegedly molested the three victims while on duty as the team doctor, going as far as touching them inappropriately without gloves when one of them was only 13 years old. My two sisters and I have had such a hard time just trying to talk to each other about this since we all had bad experiences with you. The father of the three victims was so enraged that he directly asked the judge for even just one minute in a locked room with Nassar. I would ask you to, as part of the sentencing, to grant me five minutes in a locked room with this <laughs> demon. Would you do that? Yes or no? Would you give me one minute? <laughs> of course, the judge rejected his request, and just as she did, the father went into attack oh, mode. <laughs> With the father having every right to be this vengeful, the judge excused him, and he got no punishment for his assault. As for Nassar, he pleaded guilty in 2017 to the accounts of criminal sexual conduct, and after multiple sentencings, he ultimately received 60 years in federal prison and 10 to 175 years in Michigan State Prison. Sir, you do not deserve to walk outside of a prison ever again.